This is me uh, post qualifier exam <laughs> recording. Uh, I am so glad that that is over with and done. Uh, and now I'm just gonna just chill out a little bit. Um, stream schedule is still gonna be all over the place for a wh while just because of upcoming events and stuff like that, but at least we could do these Thursdays for now. Qualify who asks. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, Dairy Queen Sevilla. I qualify who asked. Yeah. I mean, actually, technically my qualifying committee asked 40 minutes worth of questions is what they asked. It went quite a while. I was very taxed after a while. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. Yikes. Yeah, big yikes. Is the chat not showing up, by the way? Am I in the wrong... Did I go to the wrong thing in OBS? OBS, OBS... Uh, I am in the wrong thing in OBS. That would explain it. I was like, why isn't chat showing up on the screen? Uh, let's continue. Yikes, yeah. The, the whole qualifier exam is just a huge yikes. But it's a, it's a yikes that I no longer have to think about because one way or the other, either I will be fine and allowed to continue on in the program, or I will be fired. Let's not dwell on that any longer. Let's get into the game. Uh, hi, PO2? Mike, you gotta invest in a streamer light? Yeah. I don't know if that yeah is in response to invest in a streamer light. I was just turning off the lights in here because I wanted to make it spooky, but I can turn the lights back on so that my camera doesn't look like crap. I know that's why it looks like crap, but... Eh, we'll see what people think. I just like the spooky atmosphere. Trust me, there's also a lot of things that I want to invest in. Streamer light is not the top priority. New computer is the top priority. This is a wholesome game, what do you mean? No spooks to be found? You know, to be fair, I have not been spooked by this game at all yet, so I'm inclined to believe you on that, For actually. Challenge me? Let's see your deck. Weak cards, total lack of synergy. This pile really doesn't stand a chance against me. Look, I'm trying to finish up my conduit control list here. But the bots they're sending down the line are trash. Get those workers to send me something good. Tell them to throw themselves on the line if necessary. And please have a decent deck by the time you're done. I, I totally am going to challenge him with the same deck I have right now. Unless I get like one or two other cards better. But I kind of want to challenge him with what I have right now. <laughs> I think my deck was still based around finding, like, two good cards, so I'm going to just keep rolling with that. What the heck is this? Is this, uh, oh, I see. I need to connect, ah, circuitry. Also on my qualifying exam. Wait, what? How does, okay, hold on. Let me understand how this puzzle works. Why does that work like that? Huh? Does it just... No, I still need something to connect there. Okay. I, I was right. I do need to... It, it just didn't make sense in my head because these lines coming off the side here aren't connecting down to the bottom, which is why. All right, so I need to find something to use that for. I still have the monocle. I wonder if that'll come in handy. Oh, and I need a lot more stuff for this. Okay, we'll come back to that. Or wait, or am I just misunderstanding how this works? Hold on. No, no, this adds plus one, so I do need that. Wait, but where do I go if I can't do... What? Oh, I'm sorry. Wait. I... Okay, I clearly don't understand these puzzles at all. Why did that work? Hold on. Okay, so let me take a look at this again. Uh, 
Is it just that I need something connecting both of these parts? I guess that's it? That doesn't... I... That doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but... Okay. Well, I'm sure that won't come back to bite me in the butt. What is it? What do you want? Can you see that I'm... Oh, whoops, sorry. I'm very busy here. What? PO3 isn't happy with my output. Oh, it was PO3. I thought it was PO2. But I am merely ins the inspector. Put better bots on the line, I would need to... Just who are you to be carrying orders from PO3? PO3 would only trust someone with some semblance of card game skill. I'm very busy, but I must know if you are qualified to give me orders. So let us play this card game <laughs> and shirk my work for a bit. A man after my own heart. Yeah. Edgar Allan Poe 3. Yeah, true. What are you guys? Leapbot will block an opposing creature, but he only stays in that space, so that space is effectively dead. Cool. Other creatures within a circuit complete. Other creatures within a circuit completed by buff conduit gained by... Oh, I see. Interesting. So that guy can eventually not be just a 0-2, I'm assuming. But there's nothing here, so there's no circuit being completed, right? Null conduit may complete a circuit, but provides no effect. I feel like this is not a great first hand for you, my guy. On the flip side, uh, this hand isn't super great for me either, if I'm being honest. I mean, I could just win automatically with the Ouroboros if I plan appropriately, but let's just reshuffle this. That was, I don't know why I did that. Oh, at least we have dead hand. Um, okay. Um, let's not do anything for now. Let's see what happens. Oh, that does complete the circuit. Interesting. So it just literally has to move from left to right. Interesting. Okay. I see now. Do this. So that should kill, and that takes away the circuit. Okay. Well, at least this is teaching me how to deal with this. Oh, another buff conduit. That's not good. Um... Mm, I'm just going to lose, I think. Because this is going to get a one power. This is going to get two, two, and one. That is a pretty powerful lineup. I see that you're, you're based and use an energy deck yourself. Not really. I kind of use a mix of all of them, but uh, it's, it doesn't matter. I'm about to lose. Oh, wait, so these guys don't get power? Okay, this circuit deck makes no sense. PO3 would never trust you with direct orders. I should have known. You have wasted my time. No, 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 let's... Your qualifications appear dubious, but the disobey, disobey an order retreat from PO3's mic. Very well, here we go again. Okay, now I sort of understand how the circuits work. <laughs> let's try this again. <laughs> um, I am not a huge fan of this. Let's reroll this. Okay, that's fine. As long as we have a Mole Man to play out, that's fine for me. We'll let them deal damage this turn. Okay. Interesting. Get rid of that Conduit. Okay. Now we stall for a turn by doing... Doesn't really matter where I put this. Okay. Thank you, Mole Man. Perfect stall techniques. You'll love to see it. Um, we need to... If we could just kill one of these buff circuits, we might win. Roll that. Let's go. And the easiest pop. What is this? Another leap bot. Okay. Well, it doesn't complete the, con the circuit, though, I think. So we should be fine. Um, let's... Um, I guess let's play the... Yeah, let's put the skeleton here. We'll play the Ouroboros. Uh, and then we can re-roll this as many times as we want. Four, two, three, five. And just like that, easily done. Give me all that those excess foils, boy. All right, what were you saying again about uh, me not being qualified enough? 
maximizing that foil. I tr I, I'll try to where I can. Oh dear, your message from PO3 must indeed be genuine. As I mentioned, I am a mere expector, not an engineer, not a designer. I cannot send new bots online, but I, I can send myself. I am proud to have served PO3 faithfully. Well met, stranger. No, don't do it, my god. Oh. Oh, what? Interesting. Let's follow this for a second. I'm just, I'm curious to see if there's any interesting interaction that happens if we follow this head down. It's okay, you can farm foil somewhere else in this act. Ooh, okay. Interesting to know. Thank you for the tip. Alright, let's go over here and see if it translates over here. Uh, it, oh, it does. Okay. So, what do you think about this? Oh, there's a puzzle. There's puzzles up here, too. Alright, we'll do those in a second. Let's see if this does anything. Uh, hey, my guy, you're one of your guys is about to get killed. Did I lag? Figure out why they're sending me trash bots to scan. Well, I just sent you one that wasn't so trash. Okay. What's in here? Oh, I found a card pack. Nice. A techno card pack. Energy bot. Mrs. Bomb. Ooh. When Mrs. Bomb is played, fill all empty spaces with explode. That. Okay, so that's chaos. Cool. Double gunner. Double gunner will strike each opposing space. Left and right. Yeah, I have one of those. The walkers. When the walkers die, four bones are one instead of one. Uh, pay two bones to increase the power and health of Gourmage by one. Hmm, okay. I probably should play around with my deck a bit more, but I kind of just want to keep seeing how far I can go with my current deck first. Let's do this as well. What's the symbol? What is, what is this symbol? I've never seen this symbol. Okay, so this is an Explodo bot. Um... So let's not have it kill itself. We'll put that there. Move this out of the way. What is what does this do? Okay, that just did three. What is this? That's the one that prevents damage. It just prevents damage. Oh, so I need to do... Oh, I see. Okay, I see, I see. There we go. Thank you. Okay, I guess I, sh I should have connected that in my head, but... Sure, that makes sense. Hey, two card packs. Let's go. What are you? A sentry drone. Whenever a creature moves into the space opposing sentry drone, they are dealt one damage. Interesting. Uh, when Shutterbug damages another creature, that creature perishes. Also, when a creature moves into space, they are dealt one damage. Wow. Okay. Bolt Hound. Uh, when an opposing creature is placed opposite to a Bolt Hound. Okay, so Blood Hound, but it's Bolt Hound. Uh, pay two bones again, and the Ruby Golem. Okay. Another double gunner, another shutter bug, a leap bot, Ruby Golem, and a bullfrog. Alright. What about you? Okay, so some circuit shenanigans now. Why are these locked here? That's interesting. I imagine it's like this. Yeah. The lock cracked open. A drawer emerged from the device containing two card packs. What do you got for me? More bolt hounds. Plasma Jimmy. Pay one energy to deal one damage to the creature across from Plasma Jimmy. I like I like that. That seems fun. <laughs> Wait, I might hold on. I think I might want that. Uh because my whole deck is based around just right now is based around stalling for time. 
So if I could just get a Plasma Jimmy at the end and just start dealing damage with my built-up energy, that would actually be kind of funny. Uh, Steambot, Bullfrog, and Mole. Okay, interesting. Maybe I'll add that in. Uh, Leapbot, another Shutterbug. A thick droid. That droid is dummy thick. Uh, we have another Hollow Knight and Mole. Okay. Let me, let me check out that card real quick. The Jimmy, huh? Can I get rid of, like... I don't really use this Insecto Drone too often. Let's add in the Jimmy. Uh, okay. Let's let's keep going. Um, we've already killed one person. What's another? Uh, device. Okay, we need to complete this circuit. So we shall add two to get... Ah, I forgot that's how that works. Okay. So these all get plus based on what I put over here and here. Okay. So in that case, we do plus one and minus one should even it out, right? Which is not what we want. Unless I can put another plus one in the middle. Ah, I see. Okay. Interesting. Okay. I think I'm figuring out the, the puzzles now. What is this? Never mind. Now I'm immediately... God damn it. Okay, so that's four right now. So what is, what is this then? That just cuts a circuit. But why would I... Interesting. So if I go like this and this... Oh, I, I have to use these. It, oh, I see. Okay, okay. Um... No, I don't see. Hold on, let me rethink this. Okay, so I need to cut the circuit somewhere to prevent, I think, this minus one from being used. Question is where? So if I do this, and this, I'm at four. Zero. Ask your resident physicist. That's true. The finite physicist might be able to help me with electronics. <laughs> or electrical engineer. Yeah. Uh, I. It's okay. I can figure this out without an electrical engineer, I think. But... Let me, let me think about it for a second. I think I need this space open, in which case, I think I want the zero there. I want the minus one over here. Kill that circuit, put a plus one. There we go. Good thing I ran the computer track. <laughs> yeah, so you don't have to deal with this these shenanigans. Honestly, true. Uh, what are you doing, by the way? Oh, they're they're cooling off as they go down the line. That's a, That's a nice little detail. Uh, hello, can you... Hi. Let me out! Ha ha ha! What was that? We are... I am the Melter. They send me raw materials, and I... Well, you can see how it works. Let me out! Not another word out of you. We must have a card battle. Okie dokie. Well, this guy's concerning. I'm a physicist, allegedly. What if I want an infinite f physicist? There is an infinite physicist out there. And I believe finite physicist is the arch enemy. But... Uh, buff conduit, a factory conduit. Empty spaces within the circuit completed by factory conduit spawn leap bots at the end of the owner's turn. Oh no. Okay. That's, that's a really strong opening, huh? In that case, we're going to have to stall for a turn. Yeah, so now it just spawns two full leap bots. Inch oh, but they don't get to attack that turn. Okay, that's good to know. Um, You're going to need to take the brunt of this for a second, my guy. That's fine. Just stall for a bit. You're good. Uh, 
an explode bot, another factory conduit, huh? Well, if I kill this buff conduit, that ends it, basically, right? Because these guys aren't going to spawn anything, and this guy can't do anything. So, yeah, let's just kill this guy. Let's murder him. Alright, take another bit of damage. Grizzly. You. And now the conduit's not complete anymore. And he's spawning another one. I see. Uh, well, that's okay, because now we can kill this guy. And we can play this guy out onto the field. Uh, hey, it's this guy. I like this guy. Alright, let's just reroll for damage. That's pretty good. Thank you, bear. <laughs> Who? Who? The, the infinite physicist. Leap. <laughs> Leap bots with the threes. Yeah, it is. That is a cute name for them. Excellent battle. Now, with that aside, what did you come to tell me? EO3 wishes for better bots for his scanner. That is difficult. You see, I melt the metal, but I cannot reprogram the stamping machine. Nope. There is a way to send at least one new bot down the line. No, 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 no. <laughs> yes, for BO3. Oh my God. All right, well, I'm not chasing, I'm not waiting the whole way to, for, I, I do want to see it get stamped out though. Does he, did he just get stamped into nothing cool looking? Oh no, is that him over there? Yeah, there he is. Interesting, okay. So, who processes the metal then, of course, is the next question. No, I mean, who asked? Uh, Etrian did. It, the message literally says, what if I want an infinite physicist? What is this? What is this nonsense? Get, get that out of my life. Get this out of my life. Here, here, nope. Here, here. Nope. All right, um, let me just actually take all these out for a second. I just want to see what happens if I go like this. That's too much. Okay, so then we put this here. What if we do this? Nope. Uh, put this here. Cut that. Cut this. Nope. There we go. Nope. Oh, there we go. Cool. I'm very much trial and erroring these puzzles, which I really shouldn't be doing, but oh well. <laughs> uh, I have no idea how this works, but you're doing great. Sam, I really still don't fully understand the circuitry right now, but we're, 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 we're working with what we got. Ooh, this is a lot of bad stuff. There's no way. That was, oh my God. I literally did not use a single brain cell for that. I simply picked card and put card in circuit. What, how did I do that? I'm actually kind of annoyed at myself that I just did that. I have no clue what this game is. I'm so lost. It's a, it's inscription. It's a card deck battler. If you're interested in, if you look at it and you're interested in playing it, I would recommend that you just not watch as much as I appreciate everyone coming to watch my stream. I would recommend you don't watch it because it will spoil the whole like plot of the game for you because there is a plot potentially, um, but it is an interesting card battler. So I am, I have decided that death is below me. Okay. You're just collecting the metal from a, a stream? What is this? Hey, card back. Uh, Mrs. Bomb. What is this? Automaton. This is so, this is such a worthless card. Why would I ever take this over the, the like, the Gambolo bots? 
The gamble bots are just so powerful. Like, there's no point to taking anything else. Like, what is this? Card battler, you mean like solitaire? <laughs> yes, the card battler with yourself. <laughs> Raw sodium from the oil stream. Yeah, I'm I'm so salty right now. That does sound about right. Oi, mate. I know what you're here for. You're asking me to take a dive. But I can't accommodate you, mate. Got special orders. In it. Looking to dredge something special. We can do it. Aye. Maybe even give you something. If you win. But I can't be taking a dive. The O3 will understand. Understand. That was an interesting accent. The queen died, Mike, and you're just playing video games? What should I be doing for the... What, how can I help the queen of another country right now? The, the, the deceased queen of another country. It is very sad. Your Scottish accent needs work. Everyone's a critic. Um, what's happening here? Why is he, like, not playing any cards? I'm a little bit terrified. No, what, mate? Can't take me eyes off me work here. I'll give you this in. Oh, he just... Oh. Here, take your back. Hey, I love not having to play the game. Wait, what? <laughs> Mox module. Ooh. Mox module. Huh. Cool. Maybe I could use this. Energy bot. Stim mage. Pay three energy to increase the power and health of stim mage by one. Interesting. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space. Uh, it's just another bloodhound. Okay. You are disappointing your Anglican ancestors. <laughs> I don't care. They're, they're, that's not my ancestors. My ancestors are <laughs> Eastern Europe. I can't believe you're finding the time to enjoy yourself with Dennis Wilhelm's murder goes unsolved. Selfish. I, you know, you're right. There are bigger things in life than streaming. But can I just have something? Something. Just, just one, just one thing that I can just have fun with and not have to worry about how the world outside is crumbling, societal norms are breaking down, and people just don't really care for each other. No. Okay, well, there's my answer, I guess. Is Italy in Eastern Europe? I mean, more Eastern than the parts that you were talking about. Now off with ye. I need to concentrate. Oh! Is that PO3 is gonna reward me big for this, son? Uh oh, did he get a good catch? Oh, what the frick is? What is happening here? Why was that just? Why is this freaking out? Wait, what? It seems like there's something I can click on when that's. What the frick is this? Wait, what the frick? What is? What is going on with that? Oh. Off with ye. Okay. I guess I will ascend now. Use EU South 1. Exactly. So what part of you is Eastern European? The left part? I'm... I have, I'm very confused as to what's happening right now. The left... <laughs> I have... I'm being bamboozled by my chatters and I don't appreciate it. I mean, the... Okay, if you're not going to consider Italy Eastern Europe, how about, like, Russia, Poland, and all those parts? Because that's my mom's side. The bots haven't gotten much better, but you battled all my workers, and you actually won? Give me that deck again. Wow. You beat them with that? All right. Maybe there are some synergies that I missed. Let's go, then. That's right, boy. You definitely missed the synergy of me just... Oh, no. You see those conveyor belts? Just like my factory. At the very least, they ought to test your lane positioning. 
Yeah, this is not good. Um, however, his meat bot is going to come to my side in after a couple of turns, so that could be useful. Inspector may complete a circuit provides no effect and an insecto drone. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's wait, wait till the meat bot comes over because then we could just immediately use our Ouroboros. Okay, two damage. That's fine. That's fine. See how that works. Okay, your turn. Okay. Uh, let's. We're gonna save this to kill the Explodo bot because I don't want to have to deal with that. So I will just take. Uh. Actually, I can't take any more damage this turn, I think. Yeah, I can't. So then, what do we want to do? Let's play this here to get rid of the Insecta Drone here. And boom. Because now this will open up a space over here for me to just deal straight damage, which will be good. All right, so now we kill you. Oh, wait, but the Explodo Bot is there. God damn it. I didn't plant that right. Um, where do I want to put the Ouroboros? Here, because that'll give you the most turns with it. Sorry, Plasma Jimmy. Um, guess we'll place this down for now. Do that. Because I wanted to kill whatever this Melter is. Oh, but I forgot how that works. God damn it. I forgot how the conveyor works again. Um, this is unfortunate. Um, I can stall for a turn, I think. How many bones do I have? I have three bones. Uh, high roll? Let's go! <laughs> nice. That was actually huge. Oh, it only moves after his turn. That wasn't... That's what was missing for me. Uh, what creature? Oh, it gives a meat bot. Interesting. Okay, that's good. Oh, scanner's online. Which card to scan? Just kidding. Obviously the one with the best stats. So, all right, my Ouroboros. The stat line could be better. Hey, listen, I am doing what I can. Oh, no. Your move. Oh, well, thanks for giving me another orb. I, he just he just threw the game by doing that. I mean, he would have lost no matter what there because of the placement. But I can't believe I figured that out. The last star of Russia is related by blood to the Windsor family, though. So still your ancestors. Russia is Asian. I, I give up. I'm not trying to figure out what the hell is happening now. Um, just attack. Doesn't matter. It's gonna kill, and it's gonna kill the other one anyway, so... Oh, wait. I could farm this. Nice luck you had. I guess playing a perfect game is no match for good RNG. That's right, boy! My RNG deck just uh, took you to town. <laughs> Well, it wasn't really RNG, but it was... I was being careful with how I played it. So, you're just a sore loser. I guess you won. Your ambition is to become the scribe of the dead? That naive spinster. You ought to reconsider. What, you want me to take your place? I'm pretty sure... Is that not just killing you? All right, I got another card pack from the Shutterbug. All right, take those. Hey, another card pack. Uh, all right, nice. Okay then, thank you for that. Uh, does the trapper or the trader have anything good here? You wish to trade. A curve hopper. Uh, I'll hold off for now. I'll see if I can get something better. All right, well, I've now, I've beaten everyone, so now what happens? Oh, it is time, Challenger. Choose the scribe that you will replace. Um, well, I still said I was gonna do Grimora, so let's just do Grimora. Place Grimora and become the scribe of the dead. 
Uh, sure. Oh. Hi, Grimoire. That was fast. Unfortunately, my well did not yield the treasure I had hoped for. And so we are forced to undergo another torturous cycle. Were it up to me, I would erase it all and shepherd us into an eternal and supreme peace. What is happening? What? Not today. Who was the lucky scribe this time? What? What? Ah, uh, PO3. The very worst of them. What is happening right now? Do what you will, vile computer. Wretched corpse woman. I won't miss her whining. Now, let's play. What? What is happening? You're supposed to battle the scribe that you picked, but like a powered up version for the finale. This is going to be different. I'm... What is happening? I'm so confused. Let's re-roll this hand. What just happened? Something didn't seem right there. Um, I guess just let it go. Elite bot, huh? I'm very confused. I'll just leave this here. I've got to give it to that dredger. Not as useless as I thought. Oh, right, that card that I didn't know. What is that? Does it have 99 health? What is this? Uh-oh. Uh, hmm. This is interesting. Let's, uh, play... Oh. Um, interesting. I guess let's see what happens. I'm curious. Oh my god. That's the ticket. What? What? Oh. I wasn't supposed to do that. I understand now. What the frick? Can I move? I cannot move. What? <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay, so I should have absolutely gotten rid of my guy and not let the dredger let it attack that thing. But... Hello? Hi, PO3. Can you not be so close to me? What? What is happening? What? Wh why did it matter that I picked Remora there at all? I don't think it mattered, if I'm being honest. Mike, when you read chat, you should give us all different voices like you do for the characters. Oh, that would be so much to keep track of. <laughs> like, what voice? Like, you'd have to give me a voice to try and do. That would be... Oh, God. You done gawking? We can start? Good. I'm... What? This is Botopia, a once great technological paradise. It's ruled over by four, uh, uber bots. Yeah, that's, that's right. And you've got to get out of there, out there and beat them. Why? To perform the great transcendence, of course. It doesn't matter what that means. You want it, okay? Okay, so he just literally... Oh. I now only have these bots. Interesting. What is happening? Oh, I can't free roam. I can only... This is a cool aesthetic, though, but... What the... I'm so confused. I guess I'll go down this way. Botopia used to be safe for travelers. Now rogue bots block all the major roads. Uh... Oh, so we're basically back to the start of the game, but now we're using energy bots. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, so we're... Interesting. Interesting. 
you're not used to seeing five lanes, are you? Yeah, I guess you got me there. I'm not. <laughs> Fleshy could never pull that off. I feel like he could. I feel like he most certainly could do that if he wanted to. He just didn't. In fact, I mean, yep, yeah, anyways. What the frick is happening? Why am I here? Why do I want it? 49er? But I hardly know her. Okay, now this is back into more familiar territory, at least. But by familiar, I mean very alien. Foreign concept, but at least I have... Oh, they're floppy disks? Oh, that's fun. I like this. This is... That's funny. Um, I guess let's just... I can't play the energy bot yet. Um, let's play an empty vessel. Sure. Put the empty vessel down. Here for now. Yeah. Ow. Oh my god, you just shot a gun at me. What the hell? Um, another empty vessel. I see. Okay. I see what happens now. I don't want this energy bot on the field. So we'll do that, and then we'll play another empty vessel. Ooh, an explodobot. Interesting. Um... Huh. I guess let's keep stalling for now. No reason not to. How much damage have I been dealt already? Uh, I don't... I have two left. Yeah, I have two ticks left. Which is fine. Ah, oh, that leap bot's gonna be annoying. Um... What does the sniper bot do? You may choose which opposing space a card during the sigil strikes. Oh, let's do that. Uh, put the empty vessel here. Put the sniper bot here, sure. And sniper, you're gonna take out that explode bot. I don't know why I did that, but I did. Uh, well, double gunner time. What was my other card? A shield bot. The first time a card bearing the sigil would take damage, prevent that damage. Okay, interesting. How much health does this have? Uh, not a lot. Alright. Back, get rid of... Uh... Doesn't really... You get rid of the automaton, sure. Nice. And draw a card. Okay. Uh. Hey. Nice. And I got a little overkill damage. Okay. Okay. I'm digging this. I am interested in this. I have a feeling I shouldn't be because I'm probably playing directly into his, uh, into his plans, whatever his plans may be, but... It's cool. The best defense, other bots. They, you carry a spark that can uh, reactivate old bots. Add them to your deck, you know. Then they fight for you. Interesting, okay. Um, double gunner, an insect, a drone, or a bolt hound. Let's take a bolt hound for now. Could be useful. So does this just take me back to where I was? Okay. Interesting. So I can go back and forth at least. Nothing. Is there anything here? No. You'll need more than a few reactivated bots. That is, if you truly wish to enact the Great Transcendence. But I, I want to. Botopia has some of the most OP items just lying around. Interesting. Like this, perhaps. It will recharge your energy for one turn. Pretty good. If you're smart, you'll use your items liberally. Oh, well, then you're about to see some real dumb gameplay. <laughs> you'll replenish them at a waypoint, obviously. Well, considering I don't know what a waypoint is. Uh, what's a waypoint? 
what's a waypoint. Guess we'll find out later on. Alright. Oh, I start with a, uh, uh, a broken bot that will explode and kill things. Um... And, they, and he's going to attack with the shield bot. How unfortunate for me, huh? I, just, I literally can't do anything about this. King Vince the Fourth. What? I messed up my joke. What? <laughs> I'm so confused. Um, I guess the freaking just put it. Just, no, let's. I don't know. I'll, I'll hold on to it for now. I don't see a reason to play it yet. Okay, so the shield is gone. Uh, an ex another explodo bot, huh? Stop. Draw a card. Okay, okay. Draw one of these. A shield bot, huh? Alright. Let's do that for now. Let's let's use their tactics against them. We got a shield bot of our own now. Ow. Jerk. Um what was this one again? A sniper bot. The sniper bot seemed pretty useful. Uh unfortunately I'm not gonna have enough health to survive this turn, I think, as of right now. Actually, no, I will have... I can survive. Um, I guess let's put you here for now. Uh, take out... This shield bot. Because we can take out that explode bot. The double explode bot next turn. Uh, give me you... And then we're going to do this. Take out that explode bot, which will take out that explode bot. Okay. And now we put in our double gunner. I guess just attack straight. No point to try and go after those shield bots right now. No! Stop, draw a card. I keep forgetting, I'm sorry. You know, unless she was much nicer about it, if I'm being honest. You dropped this king? I, I dropped his joke? Is that what happened? We got a leap bot, a sniper bot, or a sentry drone. What would the sentry drone do again? Interesting. So I could gate, I could gaslight gatekeep girl boss for some of these cards if I play it properly. But if he puts a shield guy out, I'm just gonna lose the sentry drone immediately. I whereas I kind of like the versatility that the sniper bot offers, but I also don't have a lot of early cards yet. So let's try the sentry drone. Could be cool. Anything else of interest here? Nope. The real best way to fight back those rogue bots? Modify yours. Give them OP abilities. Sentry is pretty good. Sniper is also busted. That's what I'm thinking, right? Like, there, the Sentry seems like it's okay as, like, a starting card if I can get it, like, the first turn. The Sniper is seems really useful that I can just target wherever I want. Build in a Sentry. Sentry down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alright, well, what do I get with this? Choose a card from your deck. I mean, it's... What, but what does this do? Like, I don't know what the effect is yet. I guess... I, I was talking up the sniper bot. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Oh, what? Well, definitely not that. Uh, unkillable. Interesting. A sentry sniper... Interesting. Okay. I kind of like the idea of a sentry sniper because then I can just make sure that he's never going to get killed as long as he's only attacked by, like, non-shield bot cards. 
but that could also just backfire in me getting killed immediately. I mean, the explode bots would kill me anyway. Um, uh, definitely not the burrower. Unkillable would be good too, because then I could just always have it. Let's, you know what? Let's make it an immortal sniper, because I feel like that'll be more useful in the long run than sentry sniper. Satisfied. Yeah, because it's also a three cost, which is useful. Like, I can just keep putting them down after a certain point. All right, let's keep going. You're almost at the waypoint. Don't choke now. I will try not to choke on my aspirations, Director PO3. Oh, they're because we are. On, I uh, this is this is interesting to me that they're now it's like using more of the environment. So we were going across a bridge and now we have these rails in the way. Interesting. Very interesting. What the frick is this? Annoying. The creature opposing a card bearing the sigil gains one power. Interesting. <laughs> um, huh. So if you can survive an attack from it. Okay, I see what I should. Interesting. I mean, I could just place this. Wait, Michael, why did you put the AE thing, that weird symbol in? Um, I, I, I kind of want to see what the Sentry Drone does here. Boom. I mean, I probably could have used that more effectively, but that was funny. Sniper bot. Let's play an energy bot. And, uh, yeah. Let's play a sniper bot. Because he's going to kill it, but that's fine, because I get another sniper bot back anyway. Um, okay, now the only unfortunate thing is that I don't have a... What the frick is that? Swapper. After a card bearing the sigil is dealt damage, swap its power and health? Uh-oh. That's not good. Can I get rid of these cards that are... Like, how do I remove these? Like, because they're, they're literally just taking up space on my deck right now. I literally can't do anything about this, so okay. Okay. Play this down for now so that it deals the swapper damage and it doesn't die. What, what am I supposed to do about this? They literally just keep stacking the thing with cards that I can't get rid of. What the frick? All right, at least they put another swapper elsewhere now. I mean, I guess I might as well just keep attacking with the sniper bot. Slow. You have a hammer, Mike? Where's the hammer? What do you mean? Where is... I don't see a hammer anywhere. Okay, I think that's enough for me to just beat out this battle, because holy crap, that was terrifying. <laughs> you made it to the first waypoint. Cool. Cool. Hey, so that should have refreshed my items. There it goes. Your items are recharged. Bots that you've destroyed in the area will stay that way. Uh, and, and if and when that you do perish, you'll be brought back here. It's an elegant system. Interesting. All right. Get me some more money, please. Thank you. So, oh, interesting. I... I still don't know what to make of this. There's a hammer right below the bell? If there is, it is impossible to see. Um, okay, I assume I would 
Wow, the music is really swelling right now. Why? Let's go to the right. Uh, there's a wall in my way. Another bit. Eastern Batopia. Not much of value out this way. Oh, I'm curious. But you've still got to explore here. You know, for the Great Transcendence. All right. Oh, secret path, huh? Why was that not? Sh yeah, why does that not show up? Interesting. Okay. Does this just mean I can just go around the battle if I don't have to? Don't want to do the battle? Wait, what? Oh, how does that work? Why is the center room not a? All right, well I can get a free card at least. A me bot. When a card bearing the sigil is drawn, the sigil is replaced with another sigil at random. Interesting. Okay. Sure, let's take an Ami bot. What's up then? Some more money. Always good. Nothing else. Sure, let's do a fight. Alright, so we got some explode bots coming out. That's fine. Uh, another one of these guys. It's annoying. Alright, put that down. Oh, there is a hammer here. Can I... Can I hammer his cards? I guess not. Alright, thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Sentry drone... Oh, wait. Chain reaction time. Watch this. And then we're going to put a sniper bot over here. Over... Yeah, I guess over here. Unfortunately. Alright. Kill... Kill this broken bot. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. All right, you may have taken care of my sniper bot, but that's okay. All right, uh, place you down over. You know, put it right here because there's nothing coming there right now. Get rid of you. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Of course. The me bot with double attack. Okay, nice. Attack directly here, I guess. Um, let's put draw a card. I keep forgetting. Me bot for double damage and a uh, what? What else can give me some extra damage? Sure, put the sniper bot down. Nice. All right. Getting some extra money now. You love to see it. Are you wondering about that star? You've been winning a lot. Now you've got a bounty on your head. It's sure to attract bounty hunters. It resets when you die, though. That's wonderful. Okay, so that doesn't tell me anything about what will happen if I get attacked by a bounty hunter, though. Okay, so there was another rogue bot there. Interesting. Why? An alarm bot. All right. Well, good thing we got the sentry drone. Bye bye. Oh, it just immediately gives it that power. I thought it was like it gains passive power after a turn. Interesting. Okay. Well, ah, uh, what the? F the name's Barry Gunberg. And I'll be taking that scalp of yours. Nothing personnel, kid. What the frick is this? Oh, he's got a swapper thing, too. To car bearing this is... Oh, frick. Okay. I have to be very careful. Um... I mean... 
Well, that's the best way to deal with this guy. The best way to deal with it would be to swap his attack with a sniper bot and then get rid of that, but I can't do that because of where he's positioned, so... Uh, would the shield bot help here? I guess it, yeah, as long as I get something to play next turn. What's it, what else is in my deck? Uh, uh okay. I mean, I guess let's try this. Hopefully we don't die. Okay. So now, take another thing. Okay, give me a bot, which is a swapper, which doesn't help at all. Um... Sure, just put it here. Doesn't matter. Okay. So now we can kill that energy bot, and then we can kill our bounty hunter. Uh, give me... Give me you. I'm gonna kill you. Sorry, energy bot. And double gunner here. Boom. I'll be taking that scalp another day. You ain't seen the last of Barry Gunberg. Cool. Well, I'm glad I was able to take him out. <laughs> that wasn't an achievement. Interesting. Okay, so I guess that just means expect to see those guys when you do the fights from now on. Alright. Spoda bot, sniper bot, gift bot. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, a random card is created in your hand. I'll take a gift bot. Could be fun. Could be terrible. We'll find out. Alright, so is this another bridge battle? So, yep, there are the rails. Okay. What is this? An alarm a bot, and why is it electrified? <laughs> That's not good. Uh, and I don't have a... Hmm. Well, I guess I'll put this here for now. Just a stall for a turn. Okay. Explode bot. Um, let's pull from here. Hopefully I get a... Okay. No, you don't have the energy. You yeah, don't have the energy, huh? Oh, wait, what? Why does that energy bot now have... Oh, right, because the alarm bot. I was like, why does it have one attack? That doesn't make any sense. Um, okay. Let's do that, I guess. Oh, well, at least got rid of it. I'm sorry, you're pulling this guy out immediately? Interesting. Very interesting. Um, pull card, what do I got? I need to stall. How much health do I have left? I have three health left. I need to stall. Um, if he attacks, that'll deal two damage. Block. Block. Okay, so we're gonna put this guy down here. Actually, oh, he'll just block once. Uh, that's fine. Oh, shoot, that took care of his rails, though. That's problematic. Okay. Um, now I would like to kill him if I could. And I can. So we're fine. The Amiibot with one spike. Kill. Yeah, the sniper seems pretty good. Killing is wrong? Incorrect. Killing is always right. Uh, yeah, we're gonna kill you. We're gonna double gunner that boy. And bada bing, bada boom, Mr. Worldwide as I step in the room. Wait, what? That didn't kill him? Huh? I'm, I, I, I'll take the overkill damage. Um... It doesn't really matter, just attack directly, I guess. Cool. I'm getting quite a lot of money. Hey, another waypoint. 
items 100% charged, <laughs> and I didn't use it. <laughs> like he said, he said use the items liberally, and I still didn't do it. Bot spawners 100% offline. Oh, what the? Lame. The power is dead on this old thing. I'll let you get up if you go get a new battery. Oh. I am sorry, I'm handcuffed to the table. You're allowed in the inspection room only. First, get me the battery from the inspectometer and come back. Hey, okay. what the frick? Oh, I left those things turned off. That's fine, just solve some easy puzzles. What? Rotate the sigil until it is... <laughs> I mean, if he considers it easy, we're screwed because AI is now apparently good enough to figure out that this is upright. Uh, I can't. Okay, cool. I am I am smarter than an AI, I think. What the frick? Okay, what am I doing? It's like all squares that contain. What is this? Why is that a pic- why is that a picture of the guy's house? Hmm, some corrupted footage there. Why is- why is his house coming in? Interesting. What is this? Am I being recorded by camera? What is that? It's like just outside of my field of view, so it's very hard to tell what that is. Oh, it is a camera. Okay, it, it moved. Weird, 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 weird. Uh, let me go back in here for, ooh, God. Anything, oh, some puzzles, ooh, perfect. It's not just a win right here. No. Oh, right. This one's going to die. So. Huh? Okay. So I attack right. This one's going to die. Right, so I want to do this. There we go. Okay. I promise I know what I mean. This is bombs remote? Sure. Take it. Drops bombs on every empty space? What the frick? Tactical board wipe. Don't be stupid about it. That seems like a very useful item. <laughs> I'll take. I'll definitely take that. Alright, so the answer I can immediately tell is to get this 5x5 five five to do all the damage. The question is, how do I kill everything else on the board? <laughs> What is this? It's generating mocks or whatever. I need to figure out what those symbols do because I honestly don't remember. Getting closer though, apparently. Hmm. Okay, I need to. Is there a way I can uh, see what that is? Ooh, wait, what the heck is this? Ah, here we go. Pretty sure you can right click the symbols. Maybe not. I, I, I don't. I. That's what I tried to do, but it wasn't. Okay, come on, stop. It doesn't. It doesn't let you right click here, unfortunately. Which is why. Okay, let me read about this mock stuff as well while I'm here, because I did not understand that at all. While card bearing the sigil is on the board, it provides a green gem to its owner. Uh, okay, got it. Attack conduit, null conduit, battery bearer, internator, sniper, armored, overclocked. The card bearing the sigil has increased power, but if a card bearing the sigil perishes, it is permanently removed from your deck. Interesting. 
Bomb Latch. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, its owner chooses a creature to gain the detonator sigil. Interesting. Okay. When a card bearing the sigil, its owner chooses a creature to gain the brittle sigil. Okay. Nano armor sigil. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, select a file. Place damage on the scales according to the file size. What is this? Hostage file. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, the file used to create it is really deleted from your hard drive. I'm sorry. What? Interesting. Um, this is some Doki Doki stuff. Doki Doki Literature Club stuff. It's going to start messing with the files on my computer. Just please do not delete any of my research work. I will cry. And so at the beginning of your turn, a card bearing the sigil will transform to or from beast mode. Yo, we about to go, we about to go morbing mode up? What? This game is so wacky, I have no clue what this is. Oh, I guess, yeah, that's on me. Um, do you want me to explain what's happening as it happens? Because I can give you a play-by-play -play if it would help you understand, like, what's happening. Um... I'm, I know I am kind of just going through things, and half the time my comments are like, uh huh, if I do that, yeah, uh huh, uh huh, yeah, yeah no, and then I do this, and easy, bada boom, we, we got it. Um, so, yeah, it is, is it funnier to not know? Uh, that's, a, that's a subjective question for yourself. I mean, if you think it's funnier trying to figure it out or figure out what is going through my brain when I play cards, then yeah, I guess that works. Uh, but if you want to know what's happening, I can explain. Gem detonator. Okay, so this is what I needed to look for. When gem vessels on the owner's side of the board die, they detonate. The creature opposing them, as well as adjacent friendly creatures, are dealt 10 damage. So what makes this different from just an Explodobot? Explain, unless others don't explain. Okay, I can explain, that's fine. Gem Guardian, when a guard bearing the sigil plays all gem vessels on the other side of the board need nano armor. Holy crap, vessel printer. Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, draw a card from your empty vessel pile. Okay, so it's like the beehive. It's, it's a different version of the beehive. Swapper, annoying. Empty spaces with a circuit completed by a car bearing the sigil spawn gem vessels at the end of... Okay, interesting. If bear, stinky, buff while powered. If a car bearing the sigil is within a circuit, it gains two power. Gift when power. Wow, what the frick? Clinger. When one of your creatures is placed in a space, a car bearing the sigil will move towards them as far. You know, I'm just going to go back to the puzzle. That's just too much stuff going on. Okay, so these things just, they just explode. That's all they do, is they explode. In that case, don't I just want to do this? Like, I just need to kill this, right? Unless I need to let one of these live. No, if I take this out, apparently that ruins everything. Okay. So what's happening here? Kill, kill, yeah, like what, what? Oh, what am I not under, hold on. If you use it right, it's decently okay. Interesting, Um, pretty annoying, honestly. What is this? It, this seems like it was made both made by someone who really cared about this and doesn't care about it at all from like a lore perspective. Like he's like, yeah, it's it's all right. Like he, he's not even trying to write out the descriptions here. Um. Okay. Where was? Okay. When gem vessels on the owner side of the board die, they detonate. Oh, the gems themselves detonate. What? 
Why? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so what's happening is this is detonating when it gets killed. So it's killing this and this, which is why this is dealing three damage. Okay, okay, okay. So let me explain. Let me explain what's happening in the puzzle. So these little gem symbols here. Okay, so first of all, before I even get into that, whole point of this puzzle is I'm just trying to deal five damage to the opposing side, right? It's just a puzzle for me to try and deal five damage. And I can move most of these things around to try and do that, except sometimes some things might be locked in place, like this one right here. So I'm looking at this, right? And I see this 5-5 five, five card over here. And my th immediate thought is I need some way to get rid of this 3-2 so that this 5-5 five, five card is free to just attack this lane directly and deal five damage. Also, for anyone who has literally never seen this game before, um, the for anyone who's never seen this game before, um, if let's say, for example, there's nothing opposing my card in this space. So anything on the bottom two rows are my cards. Anything on the top two rows are the opposing cards. The topmost row is what would, would be played in the next turn. It's not active right now, though. Any card in this second row right here is active. So, for example, this card is attacking an empty space. And so this would just deal one damage by itself here. And then these other things are dealing damage because this thing's and because other things are happening. But this deals one damage here. So I need to deal five damage total. These symbols indicate that they are supplying gems. Now, these three are inactive, so they're not doing anything yet. This one is a gem vessel. This one supplies a gem vessel. And these all indicate that when a gem vessel on your side of the board dies, it acts as an explodobot, basically. And it deals 10 damage across that space and to the adjacent spaces. So, I need, sub I need explosions to occur to kill this one. So I think th I want this one to explode. I don't want this one to explode. And I need to kill this one, which will cause this one to explode and kill this one. That did nothing. That did zero damage. Why? I'm sorry, what? Hello? Uh, is it who are is this simulation something other than darkness many thanks do with me what you will anything but that infinite darkness okay why is he here but more importantly what the frick happened with this puzzle okay let's try and understand this this is attack the only thing i have attacking right now is this it will kill this Oh, because this card needs to live in order for this to act as a detonator. As to, for it to act, this is the detonator. This is the explosive. So this needs to still be active in order for the explosive to work. So when I had this card here, I was killing the detonator. This was taking the damage from the one and this was taking the damage from the five. So I was dealing zero damage. But once I moved this card out of the way, and now what happens is we attack left to right. So empty space, nothing happens. Empty space, nothing happens. Attack with this one, it kills this. Because this detonator is still active, this acts like an explodobot, kills this space, this space, and this space, which now leaves that lane open for my 5-5 five five to attack. Okay. You know what? That was actually helpful because now I understand how those cards work for the future. <laughs> cool. I'm... Th that was riveting. Okay. That took me way longer than it should have. What is this? What is you? Hello? What is it? An annoying... What is... Oh. Oh. How annoying. The yeah, other scribes junk sometimes glitches in here. Try to ignore it, but I don't want to. I can I I can interact with it. Oh shoot! What was this puzzle? I don't remember. I don't remember what the answer to this puzzle was. Is it the same? 
I would imagine it's the same if it's just glitching in from where they were, but I don't remember the answer. Print progress. Can I print? I would like to print. This looks like it would be a funny card. And that's really all that this game is about, is the funniness factor. So, okay, let's, let's go back to what I was supposed to be doing. What are you? What are you? That's very creepy. Oh. I can rotate whatever it is, but I can't tell what it is exactly. Hey, Fishbot! Yo, it's my angler boy! That would be good. Robot fish hide me. Revenge for last time. Bad fish. Okay. <laughs> also, Mike, the gem exploders are not just boom bots. Yes, I now understand how they work. Puzzle. Actually, this game gives me portal vibes. I can, I can see that. It has um a sort of... I mean, it, it kind of plays to that sense of, like, we, like, fourth wall breaks and things like that. So, I can see that. I now have battery? Wait, do I want battery? Wait, what is this powering? Or, yep, that's it. Bring it over. Wait, I just realized you're playing with the light on this time? Yes, I am, because one DQ Dairy Queen Sevilla said that it looked bad because of how it was, which, I mean, because of the poor lighting made it so that my camera looked really grainy uh, on top of how already crappy it is. So, yeah, so I decided to put the lights on to see if that would improve it, because more light means that I can use, and my camera doesn't have to struggle as much to let in things. Uh, so I guess I'm supposed to put it... Hello? Where was I supposed to put this? Am I just supposed to bring it to him? Uh, I was. Okay. Didn't a Dairy Queen die? What? Not not the... Yes, the, the Dairy Queen of England. Yep, thanks. I'm charging. That should do it. Back to the game. Can I... Oh, I can sit up and move around now, though. Cool. Um, but I can't seem to do anything else, I guess. There's nothing here. Hmm, okay. Uh, so this is where I am right now. Uh, let's go see what's in the shop, actually, really quickly. I'm curious. Glorious Commerce. Your Robobucks are accepted here. Nice. We got Capitalism. Oh, that's a lot of Robobucks. Hmm. I guess I'll come back when I have more Robobucks. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, teleport back to Eastern Batopia. Oh, it's a, a little drone carries me. That's funny. Rebolting. Yeah, sorry that you have to see this. Is this the... Oh, this is the other map coming in. Uh, it's the last area in Botopia that still has life in it. That stinking, squirming mass of imperfection. Oh yeah, that stinking, squirming mass of imperfection is going to beat you at this game, you fool. Um, Do I want to go to the side that has a radioactive symbol? You said DQ something? Yeah, DQ Sevilla. Jonathan Dairy Queen, CEO of Dairy Queen. <laughs> My name is Landon Bablanavanavan, and I'm the CEO of Skype. <laughs> My name is Jonathan Dairy Queen, CEO of Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen Sevilla? Exactly, there you go. All right, let's see what the... Oh, I see. This is... Oh, no. You came at a... Uh, wait, what? I didn't click that. This generator is about to explode or something. You have to recharge it before that happens. It's a race against the clock. You'll see. What the frick? Simulation. <laughs> me, me after I get done with qualls. Simulation. What is, so what does Clinger do? When one of your creatures is placed in a space, a card bearing the sigil will move towards them as far as possible? <laughs> Interesting. Okay. What is this? Annoy FM? I'm very confused. Um, okay. 
Well, I guess we can get that off the board. Oh, I see. When my face says zero, you lose. Ah, uh, okay. Ooh, that's nice. That's actually perfect. I think we I think we just win from that alone. We probably don't need to do too much, but uh random card is you create in your hand. I am bait. Yeah, we, we just, that was just a lucky ass top bolt. Nice, you're running out of time. Well, I'm gonna be fine, actually. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh wait, I didn't notice by the way, but the fish bot's gun is a fish, which is just beautiful. Is that an Eastern European thing? All right, forget I ever mentioned Europe the direction that comes after never just forget it forget the whole eastern european thing i'm done talking about it <laughs> dancing queen young and sweet what the f i regret everything i've said tonight so far oh great you recharged it before it exploded if i could clap for you i would that face does not say you would clap for me <laughs> yeah ni nice uh face you got there What's this all right, so now I know. I will now know what this symbol. Is. Oh, this is an upgrade machine symbol. Okay, so I have to remember that for the shop. Uh, question: I can upgrade the sniper bot again. Interesting. Um, let's upgrade. What did the? What did he say? Pick a card, any card, but not that card. Something early on. Um, I don't know. What would be a good card to upgrade? I'm kind of curious to see what happens if I do the sniper bot again. Let me calibrate. Okay, so I can give it one attack. Ooh, double strike would be kind of interesting. Wait, does that wait? If I give it double strike, does that mean it can attack twice in a turn and I can choose where it attacks twice? Because I I kind of want to try this. The memory unit on this one won't be able to take much more. Oh, interesting. So I can, could I, would that just corrupt the card? Or what would that do if I screwed that up? Huh. Interesting. Oh, wait. If I'm in this area, does that mean, oh, more things are changing. Wait, were they? This looks, why did this look weirder? What? What is this, by the way? I thought something else had changed in the overworld, but maybe not. Wait, hold on. So, uh... Oh, hey, 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 wait a second. I saw that. You can't pretend I didn't see that. Anything in here now? Oh, I forgot, by the way, I forgot to na narrate what I was doing on those turns. Whoopsies, I will make sure to do that again. Okay. There's definitely something to do here and there. Okay. Alright. Alright. Let's try this again. Is there here? Another card. What card? What the heck is this? Quill? At the beginning of your turn, a card bearing this will transform. Oh, right. This is the transformer. Okay. Sonia. At the beginning of your turn, it will transform as well. Okay. Or a leap bot. Um, let's take. Let's take Quill. Peter Quill. I'm curious to see what this transformer stuff is. Alright. Ooh, that's a lot of fir trees on the board. Okay, so let me explain what happens at the start of the first turn of this merchant. So I can take a look at the board. So I have two ancient furs on my side. He has two ancient furs on his. This symbol means, 
Just in general, just like the puzzle, I'm trying to deal five total damage to his side, and that is how I win. If I get dealt five damage, I lose and die. You deal damage by attacking spaces that are empty, um, and that's basically all there is to the combat. Now, I can take a look at the deck, the cards that are here right now. These ancient furs are blocking these spaces, and they are... Uh, they block any they have this mighty leap symbol and they will block an opposing creature that is bearing that is bearing an airborne sig sigil so basically these trees will get in the way of anything that tries to attack the tree directly um and so they will absorb damage that way now they're not going to be really helpful for that right now because honestly they're not they're just blocking each other Another nice little feature of the board, though, is that I can see what cards he will be playing next, which are these, which is this row right here. So I can see that he's about to place this other quill card. I guess this is what the other side of my quill card looks like. So it's a one two. It has it transforms between beast and other mode, and it has sharp quills right now. And there's my quill here in my hand. So first turn, uh, the resources we spend are this energy cell here. The energy cells, the way they work is you start with one and you get an additional energy cell at the start of each turn. It's it's basically like mana in Hearthstone and stuff like that. So, but the max you get is six. So we are going to play, I guess this empty vessel for now here, just to stall for a bit. So we're gonna play that empty vessel, which only costs one energy to play, and then he attack, and then he plays his cards. The card, the moment you play cards down, they will attack that turn. So my empty vessel doesn't have any attack; it only has two health, so it didn't do anything. But it did absorb one of the damage from his quill bot. Uh, he's gonna play. Wow, these are some strong cards he's playing. Okay. Um, I might need to, I might want to blow up the board after this. Um, so he has a bolt town coming out, which is 2-2, and it will block opposing spaces when you summon new cards onto the field. So, for example, it's going to spawn in this spot here, but if I play a card here, it's going to jump over to this spot here to oppose that card. And then if I played another card here, it would jump back over to this space to block that card. Um, I guess let's stall for a turn with an energy bot. We're going to draw. You always have to draw a card at the start of your turn. I always forget that, by the way. We're going to do that. So that gives us an extra energy cell. And now I ring the bell. Ring the bell ends your turn. It causes all of your attackers to attack. And it causes all of... And then it leads into the next person's turn. So he's attacking. Okay. My board is now dead. But he has a Sonya coming out, which should be interesting. So what we're going to do to absolutely wreck his day out of the deck into the hand. <laughs> this guy is literally just a PhD who just has been stuck at work for too long. So what we're going to do, we're going to use this big old bomb device here. And oh, that's how it works. I see. I thought it was just going to clear the board immediately. Well, uh, when in Rome. Oh, I guess we're... Oh, no, not Barry Gunners again. Thought you'd see the last old Barry Gunner, did you? Think again. All right. Okay, so I now have been dealt one damage by... What the frick is that? It's airborne and it's a transformer and it looks terrifying. I hate it. Um. Hmm, how do I want to play this? Okay. I kind of need to kill this card before it does anything. So I'm thinking I go a me bot and here oh that's actually not what i meant to do you go here i might have just screwed that up because now he's going to become a 6-2 which is not great for me but that's fine i can now kill him easily 
And we have a sniper bot on the field. Nice. You love to see it. I guess let's play Quill down. See what happens here. I'll be taking that scalp another day. You ain't see the last of Barry Gunberg. All right. See you later, loser. All right. So now we were able to deal one damage with our shield bot there. So now it has... Um, so now we were able to tilt the scales one back in his direction, but he immediately attacked back with this shield bot, so it didn't really matter. Um, Let's see. We needed to kill that. So we're going to place our sniper bot down and see how it does. And you sure here. Oh, yes. And I guess I can put a sentry drones. I don't really care. Um, all right, so we're gonna see what happens. So it attacks, the sniper bot attacks here, and I get another attack. Very interesting. Okay, now I know how that works. Um, so now we're just gonna place this guy down to deal tons of damage. That's not what I meant to click on, but that's fine. All right, here, here. All right, and now we're gonna deal lots of damage and any extra damage we deal beyond the amount that we need to deal is transferred into those robo bucks that we can use in the shop to uh, buy other things. Uh, I also have not been explaining how any of the cards work, but I will do that more so in a second. Another star on your head, your bounty is higher. Uh, bounty hunters of a higher caliber may come calling, okay? Oh, that's not good. Yeah, we're getting some money at least now. Ooh, a traveler that I can talk to. <laughs> this here gold? I was just about to mine it. That's all I need were a kick in the pants. Oh, uh, so now he's opened up this path for me to go back through. But why does that matter now? Wait, what? What is this? Another. Wait, what? Why would I go towards this? Uh, what is this? A beast card, perhaps? One of your cards is about to gain an alter ego as a beast. You get to choose which card and which beast. Oh, wait, he's got the he's got beasts trapped in here. Interesting. It's not that complicated. I don't know. Choose me. Choose, they both want to be picked. Interesting. <laughs> Um, I guess let's pick the fish bot, because he's the guy who actually uses animals. What do we have? Which beast will live within your bot? Uh, I would assume I would like to make it a uh, water-based one. And I don't have that option, so that's unfortunate. Okay, so I can get a... Th I can get... So this sigil right here is a transformer... At the beginning of your turn, a card bearing the sigil will transform to or from beast mode. So, uh, I can change it into a 3-3 three, three card. I can change it into a 2-3 card with flying. Or I can change it into an adder with touch of death, which is what I guess I chose to do. Good. Probably not. Probably won't be using that card at all, but oh well. I didn't mean to click on that, but okay. All right. Oh, it's in our hand. Good. You'll have to see it. What is this? A zero four that transforms. That can't be good. Um. Yes, let's freaking play a vessel here for now, just to see what happens. Okay, so it does nothing, and then it transforms into a four four. Oh, it's Grizz. It transforms into a Grizzly bot. I see. Okay. Uh, sentry drone, you are going to go down here to kill the Sonya as it comes in. Boom. Goodbye. All right. So the Grizz is going to retransform. Hey, cutie. Aw. How are you doing? You're so, so nice to me. Uh, Explode a bot. Hmm. Maybe a bot's not going to be super helpful. Oh, it's shot card. Just got home. Oh. Well, what are you wearing, then? Dinner is a protein bar? Why? 
Boo woo. Yeah. <laughs> um. Big lunch. Ah, gotcha. What kind of lunch are we talking though? Um, I feel like I should just throw my gift bot out somewhere to die. Or how about my fish bot? My fish bot can die. Fish. Okay. All right. So now we have big, big fish bot, uh, which is going to immediately die to the Grizz. I didn't think about how that was going to work. Um, turn to draw. Let's draw another card. Guess let's play the shield bot down so we can take care of that explode bot. Oh, wait, no, that actually worked out perfectly. Nice. Okay. And he's coming out with another Grizz, though, which is unfortunate. Uh, I guess, all right, let's put, we're going to do this. We're going to put an energy bot down here. Then we're going to refresh to get a double gunner out. And yeah, there we go. Look at all that damage. Lasagna, too much. Oh man, some lasagna sounds great right now. I mean, I already ate, but like, that sounds really good. Ooh woo, yeah. Well, would you not say ooh, yeah to ooh woo? The guy who used to live here was totally, was totally sloppy. He didn't even, I don't mean he didn't keep a clean cabin. It was his plays. He'd make misplays left and right. Cared more about lore and flavor. You get it, right? Perfect strategy is all that matters in a card game. Damn, I hate that I agree with him. He's really getting to the heart of the issue. I'm assuming Leshy is ahead then? Ooh, secret path. What is this? Oh. I got a pelt, I guess? Interesting. I assume that will be helpful at some point. Went into the office and co-worker wanted to go. They have a lot special. Ooh, nice. Murderer! Yeah, I am a murderer. What of it? Here, I'm about to murder Leshy. Two Robobucks for a card. I guess I'll pay that, sure. I had a protein shake for dinner. What is it with everyone just having protein bar, protein shakes? I didn't have. And no, that was, I was about to say I didn't have any protein today. That is 100% a lie. I had turkey for, <laughs> for lunch. What kind of protein shake, though? Because did I successfully one-up you? Are you talking about Jarbo? Because if so, then yes. Shield bot, full toned. Oh, give me the Grizz. I like Grizz. I'm eating amino acid for dinner. There you go. You've all been one-upped. You cannot go further than that. Pano Tiger sent me a really funny joke to me in the middle of my class. I had to stifle a giggle. What, what joke? Like, wait, why were you reading it in the middle of the class, though? I'm not the traitor or anything. So there's gonna be, but there's gonna be a little give and take here. You'll have to trade one of your cards for one of these. Um. Okay. Uh, I'll take another double gunner. They're pretty good. Okay, what will you give me? Um, a new experience. I can get rid of the lonely whiz bot. Wait, what happens if I do this? Up, oh, he's just gone now. Okay. Choose a card. All right, so this is something I want to upgrade, right? I can't. I am assuming if I upgrade the sniper bot again, it will just die. So let's upgrade... Uh, also, it's going to be something that transforms, so let's upgrade the energy bot, I guess? Let's see what happens if we upgrade the energy bot. Okay. So we can turn it into a 3-1, a 2-1 with flying, or a 1-1 with death. Okay, so it seems like the choices don't really change that much. So let's just go for damage, I guess. Not what I would have picked. Well, shut up. I I picked what I picked, and I'm happy with the choices. That, oh, what the heck? What is this? Oh, this is me looking at the items that would be over here. Okay. 
Um, alright. Another t battle, I guess. You wouldn't get it. It popped up on my phone. Alright. You keep your secrets, then. A snowy fur. And a Sonya. Okay, so. Good example for anyone who doesn't know how this game works. This Sonya bot thing, beast thing, has flying, right? So it should normally, if it has flying, be able to fly over any of my cards on this side and damage me directly. But since it's being opposed by this snowy fur with the mighty leap sigil, it will be forced to attack the snowy fur first. All right, cool. Um, we're gonna hold on to that for now. All right, there's another Sonya coming in. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, tree has reach. What? What does that mean? We're gonna play the sentry drone here, and we're gonna play an empty vessel here just to block damage for now. Bye bye. Okay. So now what do we got? We have another Sonya and an Explodo bot coming in. All right. Gift bot. Uh, Guardian. That's not super helpful. Hmm, what do I want to do here? I guess I can play this here for now. I am fish. Unfortunately, you are, you are animal, but not fish. Oh. I lost. Or no, I am just on the cusp of losing. I have almost lost. Okay. But I am actually okay. So, okay. Another Mike never played magic. I, yes, that is correct. I never played magic. Oh, I was actually at the uh, CMU uh, club fair today, and they had a Magic the Gathering club there. So I didn't go up and talk to them, but it was there. Actually, Mike would get it. Would I? Oh, the joke. <laughs> All right, so he would get it. But that's so much context because I sent it to him. CMU doxed yourself. I've already done that way more times. Um, WTF. <laughs> okay, those two need to go, go figure out what's going on. Quick little mechanic thing for anyone who doesn't know how this game works. So this fish bot right here, right, is going to deal three damage to Sonya, but Sonya only has one health. So what's going to go to what's going to happen to that other two damage? Well, sillies, it's going to spill over onto the back line, which means that explode bot's going to take two damage, and that explode bot is just going to die before it even gets out onto the field, which is cool. Um, so I don't have to worry about that, but I do need to deal some damage this turn because I'm in the danger zone. Um, the question is, what can I deal damage with? Well, we can kill Sonya this turn, but that would actually kill me if I do that. I want this, ex this explode bot needs to stay alive. So we're going to play this gift bot for now. And then we are going to play this Amiiboy boy for now as well. All right, goodbye. Okay. So now that we can deal some damage this turn, let's see what happens. A hey, sniper bot. That's nice. I like this. So what we're gonna do is shoot, but this still kills me. Okay, no. So we're gonna kill Sonya this turn and then we're gonna deal one damage so we don't die. So, um, and I can't play anything else. So we're going to kill Sonya. Not kill the explode bot because we don't want that Sonya coming out onto the field. And then we're going to, I guess we could take out this guy. So the Ami bot can deal some damage. All right. Got an Insecto drone. Ooh, okay. Lots of transformations happening right now. Okay, double gunner. We're going to replace that sentry drone, I think. Uh, so let's bring out the hammer. Get rid of the 
Sentry Drone. We're going to play the Double Gunner. Okay, and then we are going to... I don't want to do this. Can I attack this Grizz twice, actually? I can! Big! That's... I like that. Man, Double Sniper Bot kind of busted. And now we just put another double gunner here instead of the Amid bot. And that's, that's just game. And then we do double here because we want to just deal as much damage as possible. And look at all that overkill damage we're about to get. Oh, let's go. Ah, would that be a leshy cabin? I spy with my little eyes, and I have a beacon now. Items are replenished. And those bots back there are permanently offline. Nice. Okay. We haven't lost yet, which is great. Um, can I do anything else around here yet? Does not appear so. Okay. Let's keep going forward then, I guess. Because this should be a Leshy fight. Eerie. This Uber bot just sits here in perfect darkness. Is it just waiting for challengers? Maybe it's letting its photos develop. Oh, ooh, okay, we go right into it. The next boss is pretty cool. You'll actually need to think about your plays, implying that I haven't been thinking this entire time. Whole new mechanic. Okay, where were those files? Unpacking photographer.zip. Photographer, photographer brain. Photographer, that's what we want to go with. Photographer. The lens is my instrument. You, as well, are my instrument. You will aim, and I will capture. Okay, this is not good. Oh, now that object has come into play. Interesting. So what's the deal here, exactly? I guess let's see what happens if I play an empty vessel down. What the... This is my friend. You will aim them. You will produce a photograph. Or you may decide not to. That is your choice. What the frick? What? No photograph in memory. What the fuck? What is this? My friend will remember that photograph. My friend will allow you to use that photograph. To what end? You will see. Can I restore the board to that state? To use when? You will see. What the f- What is happening? This is terrifying, by the way. Um, I can kill one of them immediately, which is nice. Bye. What is- What is happening? Oh, that's not good. Uh, let's not take a picture. Right, wait, so what happens if I do this? And the board resets to that state. Very interesting mechanic. Okay, I'm, I like this. Good boss. Remind me of Leshy Fish. Good boss. <laughs> the, the, even, even the cards that he's taken, even the people he's taken over can't help but compliment him on his good job. Interesting. Okay. I will definitely take a picture of this. Uh, we got a bloodhound coming in. A card, another double gunner. Alright, a B. I now have a B. Cool. Uh, I don't want this saved. Okay. Another energy bot and a B. Okay, so we're gonna energy bot. Then we are going to use this. We are going to uh, kill our amoeba. Place a double gunner down. Place the bee down over here so the bloodhound is no longer blocking it. 
And bada bing, bada boom. Look at all that damage. You have dealt me a blow. You have... You have dealt me a blow. Recalibrating personality matrix. I'm sorry, what? I could just restore it to the other state and win, which is what I think I will do. <laughs> because now I can play this uh, double gunner and I just auto win. Well, there we go. Boss done. And I have not died a single time on this board yet. That's kind of crazy. Oh, what is happening? That doesn't seem good. Ooh. Give me you, please. Can I not pick this up? Why can I not pick that up? What is this? Remember your side deck? That useless thing with all that empty vessels? It's about to get less useless. Your pick will be installed on every empty vessel card. Ooh. Okay. Um, I feel like Flying Protect would be good for right now so that I can... Yeah, sure, why not? Mighty Leap. Interesting. I'm not sure that was right, but they all have Mighty Leap now. Alright. Zero two with Mighty Leap that I can play for free. Always good to have. Nice. Memory card is full. What? Oh. Gamer. Gaming? Oh, God. Not this again. Alright, well, I mean, I, this is a good time to stop it anyway, so let's just see what the what the hell this guy is up to and see what's going on. 400 minutes of memory. Let's go. Well, hello there, card gamers. Um, Looks like my garage sale hunting days have finally paid off. Yeah. Yeah, baby. What you guys Please don't say that. You know what that is? You know what that is? Vintage packs of inscription. Four of them. I don't know if the woman knew what Is he driving in the car right now or No, he's not. Okay. But I mean she's probably doing okay living in this part of town. I mean it's like it's a nice part of town, you know? And uh she would have thrown him away if I hadn't come by. Right? Right. Okay. Big pack opening video incoming! Wait, what did he just okay. say? Big pack opening, right? Right. She would have thrown him away, you know? I mean, it's like, she's probably doing them off of her. And I felt a little what these are worth. I mean, I felt a little bad buying them off of her. Oh, okay. I see what he's saying. She's probably doing okay living in this part of town. Why is this the Minecraft so font? Minecraft, I have no uh, idea. <laughs> she would have thrown him away if I hadn't come by. Right? Right. Okay. Big pack opening video incoming! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Okay, this guy has clearly gone insane now. Um, yeah, so by the way, for this is why I said before, if this game looked any bit interesting to you, that you might want not want to watch this stream. Uh, I have never seen this part of it before. Well, I, I mean, I've, I've seen similar parts of this before, but basically what we're left to understand is that we're basically this person playing the game and recording themselves playing the game and there's some there's some creepy shenanigans going on in the actual world that this guy lives in uh related to this inscription game so yeah he also records himself emailing people and buying things online which is absolute psychopath behavior so just keep that in mind Hello? Hi, my name is Luke. Well, it's very nice to speak with you as well, Mrs. Hobbs. Um, listen, I was at your garage sale the other day, and I... No! No, everything's fine. Thank you. Um, I was just wondering if you remember those playing cards that you sold me? Those... Yes! Yes, those ones. Inscription, yes. They were your daughters? Would it be possible for me to speak with her? She passed, isn't she? 
Oh. Oh, no, I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, it was a while ago. That's still terrible. Oh, it, it's nothing really. I'm, I'm sorry to have bothered you, ma'am. Her name was Casey. That's a lovely name. Sorry, what? She worked for Inscription? I mean, she worked for Game Funa? Ma'am, would it be possible? I see. Okay, yeah. Um, do you think it'd be all right if I called you back later? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of something. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. All right, have a good dinner. Bye. What is happening? These articles mention death or injury. Oh my god. No one was killed at the facility. The tragically young video game developer Casey Hobbs died from fire related complications. What? <laughs> fire? What? <laughs> She was working late at the facility for performing quality assurance on behalf of her employer, Game Puma. What? They still go. Pig 3K Pig. What is? What does this mean? Is this? Is this going to be important? This is sound. What the frick? Well, I, wait, hold what? Mycologist, perhaps blood letter? What? My mycologist to perhaps blood letter. Uh, don't worry about this. It's arg stuff. Well, I am still curious. I mean, I guess I'll look into it later. When you beat this game, you have to watch the explanation of the entire hidden arg. <laughs> okay. They, that is implying that they don't explain it? In the game? What do you mean? Ah, frick. Okay. I guess that's how an arg works. It's, it's, it's left to other stuff. Alright. Am I not supposed to experience this for myself, though? Thing. The developer hid an entire arg in this game. That sounds about right, but wait, but like, nah, I never. Do you feel like that robbed you of the? Exp I like, I get that there's probably something going on behind the scenes, but what? The f like, how hard of it is to figure? How hard is it to figure out from what you've seen? No, I just watched a YouTube summary. Okay. What the frick? It's just a bunch of esoteric puzzles. Pretty hard. Alright. Okay, so we're back into it now. What's in- is this guy still just... Vomiting out his insides? Apparently. Alright, well. We have killed one scribe, and I think that is where we are going to start stop it off for today maybe next time i have no idea how much further is left in this game but uh maybe we'll beat the other three next time and then just keep moving on no idea um yeah i have no clue what's going on within the arg um but the card game is still fun and i like my overpowered as hell sniper that will never die um 
if I could just get it to do like a little bit more damage, I think that would be really funny because then you could just deal like four damage to a single card per turn, which would be hysterical. Um, but yeah, I'm very interested to see where this keeps going. Uh, I hope some amount of the story is explained. Like at least it, hopefully the story, the story that's being set up here has a conclusion. Um, beyond just needing to look into what the ARG is, but we'll see when it comes to it. All right, but with that, I'm going to head out for the night. I do need to get some rest for tomorrow. I will catch up with you all again soon. Thank you so much for everyone who did tune in. I do, as always, appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, have a great night, everyone. Look at the Discord DM I sent you. Uh-oh. Well, that's making it into the video now, so shouldn't have sent that message.